Hello, 大家好 Welcome to TCH Chinese Academy, Chinese Character Learning Course. In this video, we are going to learn the Chinese characters about the twelve Chinese zodiac animals. These are the twelve characters which represent the twelve Chinese zodiac signs. As first sight, you are overwhelmed, and you will say, "Wow, look at all these characters! And there are so many strokes, and I don't know where to start." And they do not make any sense to you. Well, don't be panic. And at the end of this video, you will be able to read these Chinese characters, and we'll also learn some amazing stories behind these characters. Where in my first video I have talked about the first six characters about the zodiac signs, and in this video we will continue with the second half of these characters. Where、well, how about this character? Any image about the animal it represents? Where、well, it is based on the picture of a. Horse, yes, and this one is the very original and ancient character, and it represents a horse standing on its rear feet, and it is very vivid. And look at this long face of the horse, and also the mane on its neck. So it is pronounced ma ma, the horse. And these are the changes over the thousands of years. So this one actually is the traditional form of this character, and this is the simplified Chinese character for the horse. Let's try to compare the differences. And in the traditional form, we have these four dots indicating the four feet of the horse. And in the simplified one, we simply just use a line to indicate this. And also, the head part is more detailed, and this one is more simplified. So, ma, the horse. Well, the next one is this character. Which is based on this animal. Yes, it is a goat, and this is the very original and ancient character, which is based on the head of a goat. And so we can see the curved horn, the pointed chin, and also the beard, and it is pronounced yang. So we can see over the years, these horns are changed into two dots. So with three horizontal lines and a vertical line. So it represents Yang, the goat, Yang. And next we have this character, and it represents this animal, the monkey. And it's pronounced Ho, Ho, the monkey. And this character has two parts. So the left part is the radical part, which means any character with this radical falls into the animal category. And this right part is the phonetic part, which means how we pronounce this word. So Ho, the monkey. Where、well, how about this character? An image about which animal it represents? Maybe you will say, "Okay, how about this dot? Does that indicating the eye of something?" Yes. So this one is based on the picture of this. Yes, it is a rooster, and it's pronounced the e. Uh, look at this very original one. It's very complicated with a lot of strokes, but it's very vivid. It's a picture graphic. And look at this character. It has two parts, and this time the right part is the radical part. So this radical means a bird. So any character with the bird radical indicating it falls into 
this category. Rooster. So, 鸡鸡 rooster. Well, how about this character? Anything looks familiar? Yes, this animal radical. Now, what animal does it represent exactly? It is based on this animal, which is a dog, and it is pronounced "go go." The dog. So we have two parts: the animal radical. And this right part is the phonetic part, which means how we pronounce it. So go oh, dog. Well, here is the character for the last Chinese zodiac sign. So it is also has this animal radical, and which animal does it represent? It is represent this animal, which means a pig. And originally, it is written like this, and is pronounced sh. But nowadays, we use zhu, this character, to indicating the pig. Well, now that we know all the characters about the twelve zodiac signs, then how do we say in Chinese that I was born in the year of dragon or I'm a dragon? Can we say 我是 Long, is that right? Actually, no. The Chinese is not 我是 Long. It is 我属 Long. So we use the word 属 indicating our zodiac signs, indicating I was born in that year. Then how about I'm a dog? Use the same verb. That is, 我属狗。我属狗。Where things you know the structure, and I'm sure you can say all the zodiac signs in Chinese. Well, that's all for this video. And if you find it helpful, please like, forward, and subscribe my channel. Thank you. 谢谢。